Mr. Keith Ablo joins us, um, and you're going to be talking, Keith, about a topic that I love that we're talking about because it's about phone addictions and how rehab Absolutely. is actually going to include phone addiction as one of its ailments that people need to be treated for. I'm thinking and considering entering my husband into one of these rehabs. <laughs> um, so we'll discuss that later, but maybe you can tell me exactly what is a phone addiction. There, I mean, it's not someone who's constantly checking for emails. This is, this is much more serious and annoying. Well, it is. You know, it actually has a name, nomophobia, uh, which is fear of being without mobile technology, namely your cell phone for most people. And it actually erodes relationships. People who describe this say that they literally panic if they're low on battery power. They don't want to leave a dining room table uh, without their phones. Um, and um, it can interfere with marriages, with relationships, with your ability to concentrate at work. So this very, very forward-thinking doctor, Dr. Elizabeth Waterman, out at the Morningside Recovery Center in California, is now actually starting a program for these folks in order to allow them to set aside the mobile technology and live their lives. Okay, so I just want to say, um, first of all, I was on my um, third year wedding anniversary. I was out to a fancy dinner, and my husband, who cannot put down his iPhone and orders the new go. one a week before it comes out, and he's actually rushing to his mom's where he had it shipped as we speak to get that iPhone, the latest one, um, whips it out at the end of our fancy dinner to show me pictures that he had recently taken and been tagged on on Facebook. I left dinner at the end. I said, I'll meet you outside. We got into a huge fight. How do we prevent our husbands? Because I'm telling you, this is a huge issue in my household. Um, you're laughing, right? Because I'm selling Andy. I'm throwing Andy under the bus. Juliet Huddy's over here laughing. How do we prevent our significant others from screwing up our relationships with their stupid phones? Hmm? Well, I'll tell you, that's why this Morningside program is so important, because the bottom line is there has to be, there have to be roots that fuel an addiction. And now we've all got the addiction with us in, in the jacket pockets, in our handbags, and it's distraction on cue. What would have been a couple of drinks of wine in order to zone out and not be involved in your marriage uh, or to zone out and not be doing your best work at your employers is now, oh, i got to check my email. Oh, wait, there could be an instant message. It's a handy way of distancing yourself from your real feelings and the real agenda items that include interpersonal connections. So what do you have to do? You have to get them to set aside that phone and you have to say the reason you're doing this is you have an addiction. It's not just funny anymore. This could actually be impacting your relationships and your work. Uh, and if you have to have them call Elizabeth Waterman, well, then by all means, uh, yeah, I guess you have to do that. Okay, I'm going to have um, Elizabeth give my husband a call because I don't <laughs> think, I think, I think he's in denial because I tell him this and he doesn't think it's a big deal, but it is a big deal and it definitely does uh, create issues for a lot of people who, who can't seem to put their phones down. But anyway, Dr. Keith Ablo, we appreciate you uh, coming on. See, modern technology can be so convenient yet so annoying, can't it? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that this stuff uh, is absolutely invading our lives. Facebook, cell phones, it's taking us away from ourselves, and it's so pervasive. It's like people who say, how can I lose weight? There's food everywhere. Yeah. Well, guess what? There are cell phones everywhere. Yeah, no kidding. Just uh, a little willpower and use your brain. Dr. Keith Ablo, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. And that All is right, gonna, take care, Julie. That's going to do it.